Hello and welcome back to this channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and talk about the newest features in Adobe Fresco. So let's just get started. Okay, so the most important thing and that I'm excited about are the outline brushes. If you don't know how to use the outline brushes, I have a video tutorial where I draw a landscape with just the vector brushes. And I've used the outline brush to create some elements. Do go check it out. I'll leave the link in the description box below. You can find the outline brushes under vector brushes and there you have the outline brushes. So before, when you choose an outline brush, it used to let you choose color of just the outline, right? The inside would be blank. It would be like if you draw it on a red colored background, the inside would still be red. You know what I mean? It would be transparent. But now you have an option to choose color for the inside as well. So for example, over here, you see double color choosers over here. So this black one is the outside color. So if I want, I can make it really blue, something like this. And now you have a blue outline and now you want to color it inside uh, you can actually click on this but for some reason it doesn't work when i'm using it i think it's a bug or maybe i'm using it in a wrong way i don't know all i have to do is go back and click on fresco again and then i can click on this option here and i'm going to make this um maybe lighter blue so make sure you put this transparency all the way up to 100 percent otherwise you won't see the color and now when i try to draw you see the inside color is blue so you can go ahead and check that again again it's not working all i have to do is go here and click so i don't know what's the issue with that okay now the next one let's go ahead and draw the next one i'm just going to go ahead and draw some flower kind of things here because why not next is a lasso tool you know this is the lasso tool here and before we just had few options initially we just had lasso but we have a lot of other things like magic wand paint selection etc i do have a video on how to draw with magic wand do check it out link in the description box below or i'll um, link it somewhere here now you have a new option that is polygon and you see a plus and minus sign here you can just choose to reduce it to all the way to three or i think it goes up to eight if i'm not wrong and then you can use those shapes to actually go ahead and select an area maybe i'll do it like this and obviously you can go ahead and use any of your brushes or uh, anything that you want i'm just going to use a rough pencil and i have this blue color here and i'm going to go ahead and draw a bit like that and maybe pull out that other blue that i have i'm not drawing anything in particular just showing you how to do that and then you can deselect and then you have that shape right there you can also go ahead and make different different kinds of shapes over here and you can also load the last selection and it's going to come back that's awesome that that is really handy anyway that's the newest version that you have and you can go ahead and make it any shape that you want and then go back to your brushes and choose any color that you want bring this down here Okay, so it's in the background and then obviously, yeah, just do random things, I guess. All right, that's it. Once you're done with selection, you can click on deselect and then it'll go away. The next thing that I actually won't use so much because I usually draw with the default brushes and this is available only for premium users. So that is the new winter set. So you can go to your pixel brushes, click on add brushes and you say, discover new brushes and then it'll show you all the brushes that you can add as you can see i haven't actually added any of these things because i don't use them i cannot make tutorials with them because a lot of you don't have access to it but there's a new winter 2023 brushes and i think they look awesome i i'm gonna add it just add it and and click on done you can go to your brushes and if you go back here and if you scroll down there's something called library brushes and then you'll see all your winter brushes. Usually it takes a bit of time for my iPad to load all the brushes. I don't know if it happens to everyone. Okay, I'm going to go back into my vector brushes, maybe outline and I'm going to make this transparent. Yeah, if you don't want an inside fill, all you have to do is make it transparent by clicking over there and let's reduce this. What's this? Oh, you can actually interchange the colors. That is awesome. Okay, let me put it like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a bit like this. Okay, so the final feature that we have is about time-lapse export. I know all of you guys know about the time-lapse export, but before we could not control the duration of this export. But right now you can, that is click on share, 
Wait a minute, let me go do that trick that I learned. Okay, click on share, preview time lapse. And in here, you'll see the option to set it to a certain duration. But obviously, you won't see this for mine because this video is not over 30 seconds. It's quite tiny. So obviously, I'll have to export it as however it is, like, you know, whatever I did over here. But if it is really long, you can actually make it smaller. That's pretty cool, actually, because then you can use this video to post it on your social media and stuff like that. So that's it. That's the end of this video. And uh, I hope you use these new features. I'll try to make a video where I use up these new features. But for now, this is it. And uh, have a nice day and say I'll see you in the next video then. Bye bye.